Welcome to the Golden Goddess, Kulf Taroth. Hello. Oh yes, my fellow hunters, riders, welcome to our first proper title update for Stories 2. Technically the second one, the Palamix being the first, but this is the one with all the good stuff. All the gold. The gold! And I do rightly love gold. And you will too when you get yourself in to this Kulf Taroth quest. Because if you finish it in under 20 minutes and there's no requirement for entry, you just hop in, you don't have to pay, you don't have to get a ticket, you just roll up and then get rolled on. And if you manage to clear it in under 20 minutes, you get a free super rare den ticket. Along with, you know, some rare tickets and bottle caps, but this is amazing. It gives us now a reliable, at least once you get good at clearing it, and granted, clearing it in under 20 minutes might seem a bit daunting when you first give it a go, but with a well-built monsty, with a well-built hunter, when you know what's going on, it is perfectly doable quite comfortably. One of the biggest tips I can just off the bat give you is bring a monsty with a deadly horn jab to just one-shot the Brachydeos and Astalos. It will save you an immense amount of time. So let's talk the specific quest itself then. It is a co-op hunt to go after Kulf off, you have half an hour to kill her along with two of the monsters. This is a big but the same each time you go in lava cavern map and the first uh, port of call is to get Astalos and Bracky. Bracky is on the right as soon as you walk in, Astalos is on the left as soon as you walk in. So find them and destroy them. First blood. And then it's off to Kulf Taroth, who is more central. Now, she is a two-stage fight. Firstly, she has two unique moves while her mantle is on, and that is Golden Roller, big damage to everyone, and Core Burst, big damage to everyone, and will also set you on fire. She is technical to begin with, and then goes power. You want to be going all out here in order to crush her body parts, in order to melt her health, and then you will see her demantle, and she she will run away. Also, fair warning, she can quite creepily, very suddenly, target someone. You're gonna die. And I don't know what that's about, but that's completely fine. After she's run away, you want to go find her again, and now you have the final showdown with Mantleless Kulv. And by the way, Kulv looks absolutely amazing in Stories 2. Like, she is glorious. And I mean, she's already a golden goddess monster, but like, god damn. Anyway, uh, once you fight her Mantleless, she uh, replaces the Golden Roller for a Glory Spear, which is just big damage on a single target, and really, it's not actually much else going on. Honestly, uh, the Cold Fight itself is a little bit anticlimactic. I kind of expected more phases, I kind of expected more unique moves, and most of all, I expected more threat. Now, this is the first version, the easy version. We know we're getting a hard version later on, and I think we're on a symptom of we're just over-leveled and over monster powered for it at this stage, but that's okay. It's still a really fun fight, and it's still really cool to see Kulv in, uh, well, stories too. I just wish he was a monster. <laughs> but one thing we do get, oh, is the armor. And yeah, this is wow. And the armor is actually really good, outside of how amazing it looks. God, one of the, honestly, the best armor sets ever made in Monster Hunter full stop. But it is beautifully dyeable, layered, yes. But you might actually want to wear it, because it comes with Slugger XL, which is actually really nice. Now, even at XL, it's not the most consistent, but just having your normal attacks have a chance to essentially eliminate the turn of your opponent is really fun, and definitely something I want to play around 
bond with. Especially if we can get hold of an Inflict Rate Talisman to combo it with, that seems like it's got potential. The Health Up Large is just nice, having extra health on your Hunter is always useful, and uh, then the Soul Kinship is wonderful. That is going to get you a lot more in uh, to your Kinship pool, both from petting your monster and winning your head-to-heads and such, and is a very, very good skill to have on your Hunter. PvE-wise, this armor is just a fantastic, solid choice, and PvP-wise, I think it's actually got loads of potential. The Soul Kinship will come in very handy. If you do get a stun off, that is an immense advantage, and having the extra health and just being that bit harder to kill is also really good. Honestly, I'm really happy with this, and I think it's a very viable alternate endgame armor set, and that is good to see. Weapon-wise, then, she's got one for everyone. For Sword and Shield and Great Sword, she is the new best water option, and that's nice, because we didn't have a strong water option on either weapon category before, though the attack on it is lower than the current best, uh, for example, using Bloodbath for Great Sword, so unless you really want wanting to element match and play with that, it's not going to be that great. Her horn is lovely, it's got the heel set of songs, and again, a strong water option, and same with the hammer, and oh, the hammer looks just, I mean, look at that, oh, and then we have ourselves the bow, and this one is quite interesting because this is a thunder bow, though it is spread, which isn't ideal, the paralysis is fine, but it's not the best option going, and then finally with the gun lance, we get ice, and this one not actually a bad gun lance, though it's kind of already sort of weaker than Valkana's, so it's a little bit of a shame. A bit more defensively sound, but are you really caring about five defense here? So weapons, perhaps a bit anticlimactic, armor, wonderful, and the experience of the hunt also wonderful, and those super rare tickets are very tasty indeed. So that is your call to Roth, and that is your stories to update. At least part one of three of it. I will be with you soon with all things Hellblade and all things Bolt Reaver, but until then, let me know how you're getting on. Are you enjoying it? Are you satisfied? Like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Please consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and I will see you soon. A good boy. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye